Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. So congratulations, you're almost at the end of the course. This is the very last lab. Then we'll go through and review everything we've learnt in this section of the course. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and build an Alexa skill. Now we used to build a serverless website um, using S3, DynamoDB, API Gateway, SNS, as well as the Poly. Uh, but the problem was that that just kept breaking and students were always complaining about it not working. And the reason for that is just Amazon keep changing the UI for so many different services. Um, it was really hard to keep that up to date. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to still use the Poly service, but instead of um, building a serverless website, we're actually going to send Poly uh, the Poly service. Um, we're going to basically encode your MP3 files straight to an S3 bucket. And then we're going to use an, an Alexa skill. We're going to build a Lambda function using the serverless application repository. Uh, and we're going to point that Lambda function to the S3 bucket. And then you'll be able to build an Alexa skill. And what's cool about this is this is the very first Alexa skill you can go and build, but I'll show you how to read the documentation and how to use the serverless application repository to go and build more and more skills. So you'll learn how to build Alexa skills by the end of this lecture. So I'm sure most of you know what Alexa is. This is an Amazon Echo, and a lot of people confuse Amazon Echo with Alexa, and we'll talk about the differences uh, in a second. Um, but essentially, every time you're talking to one of these devices, you're talking to Lambda, and Lambda is responding to you. So it's a way of talking directly to the cloud and having the cloud talk back to you. And if you know iPhones, you'll realize that um, the voice service on there is called Siri. Um, so you've got your iPhone, which is the physical device, and then when you talk to your iPhone, you're talking to Siri. Well, likewise, Alexa is the voice service for the Amazon Echo. So the Echo is the hardware, and then you're talking to the Amazon Alexa service. So it's very similar uh, in terms of how it works. And it doesn't need to just be an Amazon Echo. You can build one using a Raspberry Pi. We do have a lab on that on the Cloud Guru platform. You can use the Amazon Echo. You can use a Fire TV. Um, basically, you just need a hardware-enabled device that has the Alexa service enabled. And then what it does is it uses a whole bunch of different uh, technologies. So it uses automatic speaks recognition and natural language understanding and the text-to-speech. And that allows you to create all these different skills. And you do that through developer.amazon.com. And if you are going to do this lab, you will need to set up an account with developer.amazon.com. You need to make sure that you use the same email address that you use for your Amazon Echo. Now, if you don't have an Amazon Echo, don't stress. You don't need one to do this lab. You can actually just run it in the simulator as well. So in terms of how we build our skills, we always start with the skills service, and this is our Lambda functions, and then we build out our skill interface. And our skill interface will consist of the invocation name, so that's just the name that you use to um, enable your skill. So it might be Alexa, Open Ryan Cronenberg. Um, and then we have our intent schema, our slot types, and our utterances. And again, we do have an Alexa course on the A Cloud Guru platform. You may want to go check that out where we start doing deep dives into all this. Um, but in this one, we're going to build a very simple skill. So this is a lab and you will need to log into the AWS console. Okay, so here we are in the AWS Management Console. The first thing we want to do is just go ahead and create an S3 bucket. So we're going to go ahead and create a bucket. I'm going to call it A Cloud Guru Poly. 2019, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And that already exists, so I'll call it A Cloud Group Poly Assets 2019 and go ahead and hit create. And that has now created my bucket. In here, I'm going to click in here. I'm going to go edit my public access settings. So we do want to make this bucket public. So I'm going to go ahead and just type confirm. And then we're going to go and give it a bucket policy, making everything inside it public. So let's click in here, go to our permissions and go to our bucket policy. And this will be available in the resources section of the course. Just go ahead and copy that into your clipboard. And then we're going to paste it in here. And then we're just going to change the resource ARN. And we're going to grab our ARN from here. So just copy that into your clipboard and then go over to here and paste it in and go ahead and hit save. Straight away, you'll be able to see that the, um, the UI has changed saying, hey, everything in this bucket is now public. So we're going to use this bucket to store our MP3 files. And we're going to basically take some notes and then generate um, MP3 files using the Poly service. So go ahead and copy that into your clipboard. This is the um, ARN for the bucket. Actually, you just need the bucket name. I don't think you need the ARN. So just copy the bucket name into your clipboard. 
And then what we're going to do, I'm going to go over to services and we're going to go down and find the poly service. So the poly service can be found under machine learning and you'll see Amazon poly in here. And in here we can go and listen to this. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, but I will read any text you type here. So you can put in any text and it will play it out. So I'm going to, because I'm Australian, I'm going to go over to Australian and I like Russell. So I'm going to put Russell in here. And then what I want you to do is just paste some notes in here. So I'm on the EC2 landing page. You can write your own notes. I'm just going to copy this into my clipboard and go back over here. I'm going to paste this in here. Um, so we basically, it's just saying Amazon's Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 is a web service that provides. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and click Synthesize to S3. And in here, I'm going to type in my bucket name. So it's Acloud Guru Poly Assets 2019. And I'm just going to maximize this and I'm going to go ahead and hit Synthesize. And so that has now created a task to synthesize this text into an MP3 file. And if we go down to our S3 synthesis task, you'll be able to see here that one is scheduled. And this is one that I did earlier and that has uh, had, has now completed. Uh, so it does take a little bit of time, can take a couple of minutes. If you just hit refresh, well, there you go, it actually took only a few seconds. Um, so that has now um, completed the task. If we go back over to S3, we'll be able to see that MP3 file, which is sitting in our public bucket. And there it is there. Now what we want to do is create an Alexa skill that will start playing these MP3 files. So you'll be basically um, be able to say, hey Alexa, open Study Buddy or something like that. Uh, and then it will read you out a random AWS fact. So it help you be able to study. So let's go over to services. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Lambda and we're going to go and create a Lambda function. Now I would do this in Northern Virginia if I was you. You need to do this in a region where the Alexa um, triggers are enabled. Uh, and they're only in certain regions around the world. Um, I think it's definitely Northern Virginia and Ireland. Um, I think there's one in Sydney, um, but basically you need to do it in a region where the Alexa trigger is enabled. So I'm gonna do this in Northern Virginia. I'm gonna go ahead and create my function. Now you could go over to Blueprints and type in Alexa, um, but if you do that, you'll see that they all say, please use the Alexa Skills Node.js fax skill from the serverless application repository. And it just says that uh, for most of these skills. So let's use the serverless application repository. And these are basically serverless applications published by AWS, as well as AWS partners and other developers. And you can just use them for free. You don't need to know how to go ahead and program. You can see there's today, right now, there's 434. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Alexa skills uh, kit, Node.js fax skills. So we're gonna select this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just leave everything as default. And here we've got our permissions. We don't need to really do anything here. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit deploy. And this will deploy our Alexa skill uh, to Lambda. And then that's it really. All we need is the ARN. And then we can go ahead and connect this up to the developer.amazon.com. So in here, you can see your applications being deployed. If you go ahead and click on Lambda, right now I've got zero Lambda uh, functions. Uh, but if I go back and just go back into Lambda, or you could just refresh your page, uh, eventually you'll see that the service has been deployed. And there we go, that has now been deployed. And this is basically, I think it's probably using CloudFormation to deploy this out. So let's go ahead and click in here and we'll be able to see our functions. And you can see that we've got the Alexa Skills Kit as a trigger. So that's because this region supports the Alexa Skills Kit as a trigger. If we scroll down to our IDE, we'll be able to see our code. Now you can go in and customize this. Essentially, um, this is the message that's gonna read out. Um, so it's, here's your fact. And then it will, this is your help message. So if you get stuck, it will say, hey, you can tell me a space fact, et cetera, et cetera. This is a reprompt. So basically if you invoke the skill and then you just stay silent, it'll say, hey, what can I help you with? Uh, and then when you say stop, it'll say goodbye. And these are your facts here. So it's randomly going to choose one of these lines and it is completely random. And you can add more, just make sure that you use these, um, you basically use this exact format. So you could go in here and go copy, and then you just add it to the very bottom. You go paste, and then let's just add my name as a random fact. And we actually use this for all kinds of purposes. Like if we have a raffle, we just put people's names in. So in fact, in AWS this week, we have competitions uh, at the end of every week. Uh, and basically if you answer a really hard question on our Facebook page, you could win Guru of the Week. 
Guru of the Week is where you get a free uh, sticker, a hand side card, and T-shirt out to you in the post, and then you're in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent. And at the when we do the draw for reInvent, we use this exact skill, and we just put every single person's name in here as different line, and then we ask Alexa to pick one. Uh, and that's how we draw the winner to reInvent. So it is completely random. Uh, so we use this skill uh, personally as well. So that is it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And so that has now saved our skill. Uh, and the only thing you really need to take note of is our ARN. We're going to need that. Um, so just hit that icon. Uh, and you're going to need that to be able to uh, create your skill. So I need you to go over to developer.amazon.com. need you to sign up for a developer account. If you do have an Alexa device, make sure you use the same email that is registered to your Alexa device because then you'll be able to literally use this skill straight away. So go over to developer.amazon.com. Okay, so I've signed in to developer.amazon.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit on Amazon Alexa. And I'm going to click up here and go over to my skills. I'm going to go into my Alexa console. And I'm going to go ahead and create a skill. And what's really cool is we can give this skill a name. So we'll call it my study buddy, something like that. My study buddy. The default language, if you are in the UK or Australia or wherever, make sure you change this to match the default language on your Alexa device. Um, so if you are using the Australian one or the UK one, change it. Um, if you want to keep everything simple, change your Alexa over to US uh, English US. Uh, I'm going to leave this as default. My Alexa is on English US. Uh, and then we're just going to um, do custom and self-hosted. So that's already selected. So all you need to do is click up here and go create skill. That will then go ahead and create our skill. And what's really cool is you can choose a template. And we've already used the serverless application repository for a fact skill. And in here, we just need to click in this. And that's it. Go ahead and hit choose. It is seriously that simple. In here, this is the Alexa development console. Uh, again, if you want to learn more about this, we do have an entire course on Alexa. Um, in here, we've got the invocation. So what's the invocation name? Right now, it says space facts. I'm going to call it cloud. Yeah, let's do cloud facts, something like that. That might be easy. Uh, and then we're going to go down and we're going to go ahead and save our model. Before we build our model, the only other thing we need to do is go to our endpoint. And in here, this is where we give our, um, our skill the ARN, the Lambda ARN. So just paste it in there. Whoops. Uh, and so this is basically pointing our skill to our Lambda function. Once you've done that, hit Save Endpoints. Then go back over to your uh, Get New Fact Intent. You don't need to add anything in here, but these are your sample utterances. So you say, hey, Alexa, ask Cloud Facts a fact or a space fact. We might want to change this to a Cloud Fact. In fact, let's add that in, a Cloud Fact. And I'm going to hit Plus. And that adds it to our utterances. So an utterance is just a way of saying something. So we're going to go ahead and save our model. And then we're going to go ahead and build our model. Now, the build will take a little bit of time. I'm just going to pause the video because it takes a couple of minutes. But as soon as it's um, built, you'll see a little notification down here saying that it's done. And you can see down here that the build is now successful. If I go, go over to test, I should be able to test this. And we're just going to turn the test on to development. And that will allow us to test. And then what we can do is say open cloud facts. I think it's cloud fact. Let's have a look. Here's your fact. Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets. So it is definitely working. And down over here, you can see this is the input. And then this is the output. This is our Lambda function talking back to us. And you can see that it has speak. So it's sort of like HTML in that. It's actually called SS SSML, um, which just stands for Synthesis Speech Markup Language. So speak, here's your fact, Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets. And it got that from our Lambda function. If we go back over here, what we can do is we can just go through and delete all these other um, facts. So if I just go in and delete that, so I've only got one fact now. If I hit save, and then I go back over to my developer console, so it's over here, and I say, uh, let's uh, open cloud fact again. It should just read out here's my nail. Fact, Ryan Krulenberg. There we go, just read out my name. So the last thing we want to do is we want to essentially uh, point our fact to our S3 bucket, to our MP3 file that Polly just generated. So to do that, let's go over to services and we'll go over to S3. And then all you want to do is click on the bucket. So a Cloud Guru Polly assets, click in here and just grab this URL. So copy that into your clipboard. Then we want to go back over to our Lambda function 
and we're just going to go uh, in here and we're going to add one little edit. So in here, if we scroll all the way down, I'll just scroll up so it's easy to see. We've got, uh, we've got our data in here. So instead of saying Ryan Cronenberg, let's go ahead and paste our link in here. Now to make it talk, you can see there's an example here. Um, so it's audio SRC and then the link. This is a super useful uh, reference guide to doing stuff with Alexa. So I'm gonna leave this in the resources section of the course. So we've got our URL in here. All we now need to do is go audio and then source and then equals. Then we're gonna do our double quotations and then a forward slash, sorry, backslash. And then we go all the way to the end and then another backslash and then end quotations and then forward slash and then close it out. And so then we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And that is now saved. Let's go ahead and test this. So if we go over to here, we can go in and just say open cloud fact and hit enter. And that sh and there we go. Russell's reading it out in a Australian accent. I'm just gonna mute it. Um, but it is now playing our facts. So you can go and use poly service to output all your uh, notes to uh, your S3 bucket. Uh, and then you can basically, so long as you map back the MP3s here as an as a individually new line, your Alexa skill will then read this out to you. And to open this up um, in your developer account, all you need to do is use the invocation. So you just need to say Alexa open cloud fact. So huge congratulations. You've just completed the last lab in the course and hopefully you've learned an awful lot. We started out with IAM. We then started learning about S3. We then went on to learn about EC2, then learned about databases. We learned a whole bunch of stuff around high availability and now we've gone on to serverless. So hopefully it's been a lot of fun. In the next lecture, what we're gonna do is just summarize what we've learned in the serverless section of the course. And then in the next section, I'm gonna show you how to go on and book your exam. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.